Hello guys and dolls, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a new setup. I switched everything around, but today I am actually coming to you with a wholesome, run of the mill um, makeup palette review. And I haven't done a lot of these because I haven't found a palette that I have been so inspired to review and show love to for a very long time. And typically I have palettes that I use on the regular basis and I use them just so that I can do something simple, something quick, but today is an exception. I have been posting about this on my Instagram for a good bit and I'm so excited to finally be able to show it to you guys because my boyfriend got it for me for Christmas. So I have the Slush Palette by September Rose Cosmetics. I have so much I want to say about this palette but I think I'm just going to show you because I'm so <clears throat> I actually have the information on my phone here oh, guys look at this real quick this is what I live for right here so I am actually on the September Rose website I do not plan ahead so this is why I'm reading it to you from the website this palette retails for $24.99 when Andrew had purchased it it was 25% off for Christmas uh, it is coming all the way from the UK so there is a good bit of shipping I believe the shipping was around $11 and 50 cents um, but guys let me tell you it is so so worth it. So this palette has velvety smooth, vibrant, bright eyeshadow shades, and um, it is also contains a mirror. It's travel friendly, cruelty free, 100% vegan, and paraben free. Now this is actually so important to me because this year, as you probably saw, I got rid of everything that was tested on animals and also non-vegan. And I just wanted to do this for me because I have such sensitive skin. And not only that, but I also really, really love that kind of a product. I love what it stands for. I love the companies that usually put out this kind of product. So I've been wanting to do that a lot lately. If I was going to add it to the cart currently, it would be $36.49 in total to ship to Pennsylvania where I live. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, we're going to hop right into the review of the actual palette itself. So this is the Slush Palette by uh, September Rose Cosmetics. And when I tell you I have been giving this information to people ever since I got it, I mean it. I have been telling everyone that I possibly know about September Rose Cosmetics. So this is the palette here. It is a nice cardboard palette wrapped in um, the artwork. When it does come, it comes securely packaged, which is everything. It also does come with a slip and a little note inside that says thank you for purchasing through this company. As far as I know, this company is very small, so when this came out, it was back ordered for a, a while, and then I finally did end up getting it. On the back, it does have a very simple design. It tells you the 25 uh, color eyeshadow palette. At the bottom, you can see that it is cruelty free. It gives you the little date on how long you should be using it, which is 36 months. Um, which is actually an awesome amount of time for a palette and it is made in China if that is an issue for people then maybe you should look elsewhere but most cosmetic companies do ship through China now opening up this palette I'm pretty sure the first time I heard angels singing so we're gonna go ahead and open this up and I'm going to hold the mirror 
back because you will be able to see my setup and everything if you want. Hi! Oh, it's Inception. So I'm going to go ahead and push it back like this. Now these are the colors. I have seen colors like this in the NYX palettes and also in Urban Decay, uh, but they have never been as pigmented as this. So starting all the way from the left, you have all of your pinks, then oranges, the yellows and greens, blue, and purple. And these are mixed shadows, so some of them are completely matte, some of them are foiled. Uh, either way, they are insanely pigmented, very, very buttery like it's promised. Oh, that was tragic. Oh, but look how pretty that looks, just touching it. Look. Wow. I did make a mess in my palette, though. Look at that. Ugh. Now, like any shadow, um, some of them are a little bit less pigmented. Um, some of them do need to be swatched a few times. So, for example, the yellow shade Banana, it does take a couple layers in order to get it really, really deep. But if I just, two, three, you can see on the finger. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and swatch that for you right here. So that's just with one swatch. It's not insanely dark, but if you do three more little ones, there. Now you get that full opacity and really it's, it's such a beautiful color. <clears throat> so this look today was actually inspired by Jessica Rose Makeup on Instagram. If you are on my Instagram, you can go and look at her picture. I have uh, included it in my feed as well because I did this look based off of hers. And in fact, I did this look at 6 o'clock this morning and it is currently almost 4 o'clock and it is still as vibrant and bright. It could have, it used a little bit, it got a little bit duller. But for the most part, it has stayed still as vibrant and as bright as when I applied it. So I'm just going to show you a few of my favorite colors on here. I'm going to go into Pink Lemonade, Mango, Sour Apple, and Blue Hawaiian. You can see all those. Look how thick they look on your finger. I'm just going to take it right on here. That blue Hawaiian, that was a bad swatch. Let me go ahead and fix that. I will note that some shadows, uh, like pink lemonade and uh, the blue Caraco, they both have a little bit of fallout, but not too much. So now let me go ahead and swatch some of the foiled shades because I think the foil shades are probably one of my favorite things in here. And my fingers are clean now. They're a little bit stained. The pink does stain just a tiny bit, but not too much. So we're going to go into strawberry, two, three, tropical fruit. Blue Lagoon and Grape. There's all four. We're going to go ahead and put them right here. I mean, come on. Currently, the only palette I know to have these same kind of shades um, is going to be the Artistry palette, the James. And I don't really like James Charles, so I won't go out of my way to support him. The only thing that this is missing from the James Charles palette is the black and also uh, creamy white. I mean, coconut milk is pretty creamy white, but it's not, it's, it's a, it's a foil. It's not, it's not a matte. Um, and then the face shades. But if you're looking for something that's just going to be your beautiful, bright shades, skip that, spending all of that money, and go out and buy 
this one for $24.99. This palette is so, so worth it. And for the price and the pigmentation, I think it's a steal. All right, and going back to the website itself, it looks like that this is their crowning achievement. They only have two products on their actual page. Hopefully, guys, please put out more. Put out a beautiful neutrals palette. Put out something like the dark cherry palette. Put out something that is going to be beautiful and people are going to love. Um, right now, there is only the highlighting and strobing kit for $4.99. And then the splash palette for $24.99. That being said, to cover this up, I am absolutely in love with this slush palette. And I hope that you put more out because I will definitely, definitely be supporting you guys from now on in all your endeavors. I absolutely adore your palette. I've been super excited about it for the last like three weeks and it has not disappointed me at all and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!